week in a row that I am starting the week's vlog on a Tuesday and I'm not even quite sure why that is I don't know about you guys but I'm finding it really hard to get going on Mondays and so Mondays are just catching up or a washout or whatever anyway it is Tuesday just met a friend for a coffee which was great haven't seen her for months literally months but we'll put another date in to meet up again very soon so that's good news too and uh, I'm heading into town for a couple of events well one event and I'm heading to the Glossier shop so I thought I would take you with me oh and also because a few of you are asking me on a more regular basis now so just to tell you what I'm wearing what my outfit is today this is it's actually all old stuff nothing is new <laughs> so this is last year's me and um big knit jumper merino wool so warm and lovely uh, you can't really see it it's like a military style black Zara coat that I think nearly everyone bought last year. I'm just wearing my normal black H&M skinny trousers and then some old Gina boots which are actually quite special looking so I'll try and insert a little clip of them here because they're really quite specially decorated and embellished. Anyway I thought I'd make an effort and wear some sort of a heel even though I'm going in on the tube I don't like wearing heels on the tube at all but um, it's only a mid heel so I think I'll be okay it's just you know when you're running around I'm not I'm not that person to run around in heels I like to keep my heels for evenings but I feel like I ought to make more of an effort so yeah that's my outfit and then I've got my little Chloe Hudson bag that's my outfit today still haven't managed to put up that massive mirror that we have in the house it's so heavy I think it's 35 um, kilograms and so it's just finding enough people to help put it up. It's not even to put up on the wall. Uh, it's just to lean against the wall. Anyway, I am rambling and I need to get going. So next time I see you, I will be at one of my favorite lingerie and swimwear brands. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit of filming there. And it was a bit of a whirlwind, whirlwind, <laughs> whirlwind morning. But I managed to look around the Wackhole. I hope I pronounced that right. And Freya and Fantasy and all the other gorgeous, gorgeous brands. The the lingerie, swimwear, and oh, their activewear, their sportswear is incredible. So I will be doing a blog post with them. And you know, I normally do little features throughout the summer holidays. That will be next year, featuring a lot of their swimwear. 
and then I managed to literally pop in to the Glossier pop-up shop which I was talking about in my vlog last week so by the time you see this vlog I'm afraid the pop-up shop will have gone because it closes tomorrow so it was on from the 15th till Wednesday the 22nd it was beautifully done I mean very minimalistic but incredibly luxurious flowers big big bouquets of flowers everywhere stunning and separate rooms as well so there was the downstairs room with all the products and there was a little resting room as well where you could just chill out and uh you know just flop out on a sofa because you had to wait for your order to be ready um so what you did was you look through all the different products and then um you told a sales assistant there what you'd like they place the order then you had to wait five or ten minutes for your bag of goodies to come up and then they had the same room replicated upstairs but on a much larger scale and then a separate room which was gorgeous a really red boudoir type of room specifically just for their perfume which i didn't buy because i wanted to see how it would fare on my skin apparently it um smells different on everyone I have to say it's quite nice it's very delicate though it's not as strong as some of the fragrances I wear quite clean and powdery but there is an underlying spiciness to it as well so I didn't buy that I you know maybe I'll think about that another time but the reason that I'm jumping on here I'm dressed in my gym kit <laughs> I thought we were going to go to the gym but now my husband's on conference calls so we're not going to go um but yes the reason that i'm jumping on here right now is because i've had a few messages from you guys asking to see the kind of things that we come away with from press events so i can't guarantee i'll always do that because i don't always have enough light around but i thought that i would just show you what i've come back with so that is from the wackle press day and um that's the glossier obviously that it's not from a press day I've just bought all of that but I just thought I'd show you so basically we get all the lookbooks which is great to see what's coming up so all the different brands that were there Freya which you know is my preferred brand of bra and sports bra so lots of Freya stuff there the fantasy oh so beautiful I mean look at that gorgeous print on that swimwear um, fantasy lingerie Another one of my favourite brands, Wackle. I mean, if I could live... Uh, this one in particular is gorgeous. It's super, super soft. If I could live in Wackle in terms of price, <laughs> I would. But it's it's too expensive for me to live in that brand. And then the beautiful brand, Elomi, which they have for slightly fuller figures. But the styling is always as beautiful. It, oh, I'm not showing you very well. But yeah, really gorgeous. Quite often... I think most times they do, they will send you away with a set of lingerie and I have to say I am the most boring person when it comes to my underwear on a daily basis is either black or nude depending on what I'm wearing, I mean I don't even wear white anymore and I live in the Freya deco bras, I think John Lewis had some on offer last few months ago I can't remember when it was and I stocked up like crazy so I did actually step out of my comfort zone a little bit because some of the ones that were reduced were you know nude with spots on them dotted you know polka dot and all that kind of stuff but still pretty safe pretty safe anyway look what I came away I don't even know actually what it is whether it's Freya or fantasy I haven't checked in the bag oh it's Freya but look at that look at that color oh my goodness it's I hope that this is as bright on screen as it is in real life it's a real tomato red with a beautiful striped piping on it there really really pretty oh very nice lovely really oh oh look and then there's stripes on the straps as well is this a deco bra I don't know looks like it's the deco styling it probably is because I said that I live in deco bras the matching underwears should I show you what I bought from Glossier I should shouldn't I first of all it comes in this gorgeous packaging and because I bought a couple of I bought quite a bit I've got an, a spare carrier bag I don't know why they gave me a spare carrier bag anyone want the spare carrier bag let me know <laughs> I don't need it so it comes they put a little card in there with my name on it so that's how they know what your order is there's all sorts of bits in here Glossier stickers a sample of their and that, 
a sample of their cleanser, milky jelly cleanser, which I actually bought, so I don't really need that sample. Oh, and there's, I didn't realise, look, they've given me a little sample of the perfume as well, so that's good. I could try it out another day as well. But on to what I bought. So you can buy all of this online. I'll put links below for you. But they sell everything separately, but also you can buy it in kits, like they've combined a couple of pieces together that might work or that are popular pieces that people buy together and it makes it slightly more affordable um, so I did opt for quite a few of those little kits. You will have seen all the Glossier stuff I'm sure already all over the internet. I'm very late to the Glossier party but I wanted, I'm really glad they had this pop-up shop because but you know with skin colours I always find it really hard to buy it online so I didn't want to if I could help it. So anyway, that is the boy brow, which I've got in this eyebrow and I've got nothing in this eyebrow. I specifically went with nothing in my brows so that I could try it. So if I get up close, I don't know if you can tell, that has got boy brow in it. That's nothing, that's just my, you know, freshly cleansed brow. So there's just a little bit of definition, especially here. I can just f use this to just fill it in when I don't want to use powder or anything really defined on the brow. So it was manic in there, it's like a whirlwind in there. I do think that these are very cute, they're padded like little Ziploc bags. So oh, I got a couple of the skin perfecting tints because I, as ever, am in between shades. One was too dark, it was almost like a contour shade, One, the next one down was too light, almost like a concealer shade. I do like the no makeup no foundation look. I'm not wearing any foundation at all today, at all. Um, I'm wearing concealer under my eyes and no foundation. So something like this is really nice to wear for me because at the moment, for as long as I can, I'm gonna stay away from foundation for daytime. So these are the two shades I got. Those are the two shades that I got. Um, and I will have to mix them, basically mixing them in, in equal quantities. And I had to get the deep and the dark. Obviously the deep is the darker one of the two. A highlighter, which I surprised both myself and the sales assistant because we thought that the pinkier one would look better on my skin, but the pinky one looks really white on me. Whereas this one, the Haloscope Solid Stick Highlighter, yep, in Moonstone, actually gives a nice icy pink tinge. Let's see if you can see that. Yes, look at that, gorgeous. Really nice for winter. Obviously, I would blend that in on my skin. You should see the mess on the floor right here, but you know, I just want to show it to you because because you guys have asked one of the balm.coms, which everyone goes on about. It's the birthdaybalm.com and it smells and tastes like birthday cake. And there's a slight pearlescent sheen to this. I mean, to all intents and purposes, clear, but not as clear as some of the other ones, but I love that holographic can you see that holographic packaging as well? And then I got a little skin trio. Again, as I said, it's like cheaper to buy it when you buy it in a kit. This is the Milky Jelly Cleanser, which I hear such good things about. And that's actually, I thought, quite good value even on its own. That is 177 mil, which is an odd number to have. But anyway, 177 milliliters. And that I think would have been 15 pounds on it. Was it? Or 18 pounds on its own? The Priming Moisturizer. Um, which you can use as a primer and as a lightweight moisturizer. And then actually this balm.com that I just showed you was part of the trio of that kit. So I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything that I bought from Glossier. So, right, I'm not gonna go to the gym now, which I'm really annoyed about. I was all set to go. And I would have gone even if my husband wasn't going, you know, we don't, oh, we don't have to go together. But um, we currently at the moment only have one car because we're waiting for our cars to get sorted next week. So from next week, I think we're gonna be back to our two car situation, but we've only had one car for the last 10 days or so. And I tell you, it's a lot of juggling. With three kids at three different schools, um, yeah, there's some serious juggling going on with just one car and a lot of Uber journeys as well. I think I'm gonna go and fit in a little bit of work before I head off to do my school run and I will catch you in a bit. Hey guys, I feel like it has been absolutely ages since I vlogged anything at all since I came on camera and it has been today is a Saturday and I think the last time that I was talking to you guys was Tuesday quite possibly um, and I don't know if I'd mentioned then I haven't looked back at the footage 
but I have just come back from spending three days with my mother so on Wednesday I went up to my mother's place and I spent three days there and I didn't vlog anything at all I did take my camera but it just wasn't you know it wasn't appropriate um, I was there to look after my mother for three days and I just wanted to give her my undivided attention I say undivided I was on Instagram a little bit but not as much as normal and I really tried to just focus my time and efforts and energies on her with her and yeah I'm glad that I did so I have a feeling that this week's vlog is going to be unusually uncharacteristically short which is fine by me I am hoping I'm yeah I'm hoping that that is fine by you as well so we are midway through Saturday afternoon I've had a very relaxed morning well an early start woke up at four o'clock this morning I'm so annoyed I have to show you something so this is what I wanted to show you it is on my phone I have my Fitbit you know that thing and it tracks how much sleep you get as well so I don't know if you can see I only got four hours oh it's gone four hours and 19 minutes of sleep last night and uh, that's basically because my husband was just like rolling around in the middle of the night in bed and woke me up and then I think he woke me up at four quarter past four and once I'm awake that's it I can't go back to sleep because I knew I had to be up again at 7 30 to take the girls to their um, drama class so it's mid-afternoon I'm probably going to feel very sleepy by about four o'clock I know it but I thought that to finish off this vlog, because I am definitely not going out tonight, so I'm not going to be vlogging anything exciting tonight, I thought I've come back to a few parcels, as is always the way when you go away in my job. Not as many as normal, which is great, so I thought I would open them up with you. I have got my scissors at the ready, I've got my glasses in case I need to read anything in small print, and yeah, let's just open them up. I have to say, some of them may not be for me, but um, everything gets left for me to open because everyone just assumes that the parcels are for me. So some of them I may open and find that they are intensely boring and not worth even showing to you. I think I know what this is. So you guys know I love Moroccan oil. Ooh, what do you think of my hair? I've just used this new brush. This hasn't come in the post today, but I just thought I'd show you. I've just used this new, new to me. This has actually been going for a while. This is the Daphne hair straightening brush. I call it more of a hair smoothing brush because I don't do that flat thing. And I don't like straightening my hair with hair straighteners. I find it is too straight and I find that quite aging, that poker straight thing. I find that, you know, I think if you're anything over 19 or 20, I, find, I think that can be really aging. Whereas this has kept, well look, it's kept a lot of the shine and I've managed to just give it a bit of movement here and the shorter bits. I mean, I literally just rough dried my hair with my Dyson. I wanted to air dry it. Next time I am going to use this with just letting my hair air dry completely and utterly and then just smooth it down with this because the idea for me is to just use less heat in my hair. Ever since I've had this balayage, I'm really careful to use less heat. So I did love this. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me talking about this on my Instagram stories and I actually did a live using this for the first time just now anyway i am rambling so i wasn't able to make it to a recent launch and the company very very kindly said to me that they would send me the products and i was so pleased because i was gutted not to be able to go so it's from a brand that i really love i've already got one of the products from this brand in my hair there's no surprises for guessing it's moroccan oil when you see the color you'll know that's moroccan oil so they've launched a curl collection which is great for me because it's not just for really curly girls it's for you know wavy hair as well and you know i normally wear my hair wavy i mean this for me is my equivalent of straight hair so i still need a bit of movement here as i say i, I just like a little bit of movement and normally i do put curls and really wavy waves into my hair so i think that this will be amazing for me oh no look that has leaked i think it's savable it's definitely savable so i'll take everything out i don't really put my hands in there now though because that has leaked ew 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 okay let me just talk you through the products though because without oh i'm trying to take everything out first 
I gotta get the towel. I, yeah, I just need to get the towel. Okay, I'm back with a towel. I will clean up the bottle afterwards. I just needed to clean my hands. That is a shame, but it's still very usable. I think I've just lost a little bit of it to the spill. A curl re-energizing spray. And this is why I need my glasses with me. Excuse me. Reactivates your curls at the end of the day or you know on second day hair brilliant that's a curl cleansing conditioner one step cleanser and conditioner brilliant okay i forgive this one this is the culprit for having leaked a bit but i forgive that one because oh, well, it just sounds incredible i'm definitely going to be trying these out as you know at the moment i am in love with my oh that's so weird in love with my rita hazan shampoo and conditioner for colored hair and i'm now using the shine gloss as well it's a step between shampoo and conditioner I absolutely love it but i'm really looking forward to trying these and a curl defining cream which is great i've been told by so many hairdressers that really for me it's all about creams and oils when i'm styling my hair because it is so dry that it just needs that extra moisture so and a moroccan oh fab because i've nearly run out and a replenishment of my moroccan oil oil which is great because i think i've only got about five more uses oh why did i put it back i've got about five more uses in my current bottle so that's the classic the one that started it all and it comes with the pump so you take the lid off and you put the pump on top so thank you very much for that as ever if you have any questions about any of the products then just let me know in the comments below or you can email me i'll put my email address down below as well just in case you fancy kind of just speaking to me directly and i will be reviewing everything you know it'll either be on the blog or in an upcoming vlog or a separate video just on that now this arrived today and i've no idea what it is it actually was delivered to my neighbor's house so I sent one of my girls over to get it ah this is one of the charlotte tilbury run up to black friday deals I definitely tweeted about this one non-stop because I thought it was such a good deal and I put it on my Instagram so I don't know if any of you managed to get it but this was a really really good deal the classic the first makeup bag that Charlotte Tilbury did I have one of these it has seen better days I actually should just put it in the washing machine I'm sure it'll be fine but it's got the lipstick marks of various famous people that Charlotte knows very well very famous women I should say and on the backside it says give a woman the right makeup she can conquer the world i think my original one said every woman needs a man to ruin her lipstick and not her mascara anyway so in this i'm going to be really quick with this one is all the iconic color paper i'm actually wearing this color a lot a lot i should probably just wrap myself in tissue paper so we have an instant look palette now i have one of these already this is one of the other ones i think this is seducing seductive beauty i have the glow one one of the dry sheet masks sorry i'm trying to juggle this and not doing it very well a little mini of the miracle glow which is the triple it's a cleanser it's a mask and i can't remember it works in three ways it's a mini of the legendary lashes and i love keeping little minis you need to carry around i don't want to carry around a full-size mascara in my handbag so put it into my makeup bag to carry around next up oh perfect perfect timing i was actually thinking about this this is from you know my favorite brand for sun care ultra sun oh my gosh how sweet look at that that's my first christmas stocking of the year thank you so much ultra sun that is so 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 cute now that is the right size stocking for the kind of present that a girl wants to find under the tree, you know, jewellery, just saying, a little bit of jewellery. Um, and inside I have Ultrasun Face Anti-Aging one and Anti-Pigmentation 50 plus. I have the tinted one which I live by and this is perfect. We each have one of these in the family. I've given one of these each to my kids as well. This is the lip protection. Sun protection 30. This one, there was one more, but I think this is going to be long enough. So let's just open this one and I think we will leave it at that. It's from my babes. 
at the double I double A. Look at that. Christmassy on the side. How beautiful. Gorgeous skin all wrapped up. So excited. You guys will know because I've been going on and on about it for, well, since June actually, that my skin has literally been transformed by using the products from the double I double A. So there's Environ skincare and the Advanced Nutrition Program supplements, which reminds me I need to buy some more of those. I've run out of those. And um, the Jane Iredale makeup as well, but I think the real transformation has obviously come from the Environ skincare and the supplements. My gosh, never underestimate. I can't open this. Never underestimate the effect of supplements on your skin. I'm out of breath. I'm opening this with you. I have no idea what's inside. Oh my goodness, look at that. All at the Christmas feels. Look at all those baubles. They are going to go straight onto our tree this year. Thank you so much, guys. Let me just tell you what's in here. Okay, so, oh, I've got a little bit more supplementation in here. There's collagen support. Then we have the Focus Care Youth Advance Elixir. Oh, I heard about this. Last time I went for an Environ Facial, the facialist was telling me that this was coming out. So maybe this is coming out in January, I think, or perhaps it's already out, I don't know. I will check. And obviously there will be more information on one of my social channels. So make sure that you're following me across all my different social channels. But I already use the Focus Care Toner and I use the Avance uh, Cream, the Peptide Cream in my morning and nighttime moisturizer. I mix it in. We have something here from Jane Iredell. I'm gonna open this up for you because there's no point you seeing a box. Luminizer Trio, oh, I've seen this. I have seen this. I think I saw it on the Jane Idell Instagram. It's a stackable or a stack of three luminizers. Let's open this up. I have to wear this today. I'm not even going anywhere today. I'm going to wear it anyway. Right, I've managed to open this and oh my God, it's so, so gorgeous. It's in this beautiful, like almost like a metallic burgundy highlighter number one. Let's look at this packaging guys. Highlighter number two, there's a mirror in the lid. And then <laughs> highlighter number three, all the colors that you could want. Peachy highlighter, this is more of a champagne-y color highlighter and this is more of a slightly whitish color highlighter. Keep an eye on my Instagram. I'm not gonna swatch it right now because you know me, I want to photograph it first but I will be putting this up on my Instagram later. But it's just, it's, it's as gorgeous as it was when I saw it on the Jane Iredell Instagram. So before I go off to highlight the living daylights out of my face, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry that this week's vlog has been a little bit weird. Um, it was always gonna be that way because it's very hard to vlog at my mum's house in the sense that I don't really do much apart from just hang out with my mum. And uh, I think it's just important to spend the quality time with her and not try and find reasons to vlog when I'm there. But I need to know from you guys, should I do Vlogmas? What do you think? I'm in two minds. I really want to do it, but it's so, so, so labor intensive. One of the other options obviously is to maybe just upload three times a week, every other day something like that or twice a week so I'd love to know what you think what would you prefer is every day just too much for you guys also to watch and keep up with um, let me know please in the comments below or just contact me through one of my other social media platforms all the information is in the box below so hopefully I will hear from you all there and as ever I know I say this every time but if you did like my videos then please do subscribe to my channel. It just helps me know what you like and what you don't like. Especially if you give a thumbs up to the videos that you do like, then I get to know what you do like more of. So yeah, subscribe, thumbs up if you liked it, share it with friends if you want to, if you think they might enjoy it. I'm not expecting anyone to share today's video necessarily. I am guessing, without having edited it, that it's gonna be a weird one. <laughs> so if you got to the end of this one, thanks so much again, and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, and don't miss that one, because that is going to be the little Tom Ford haul, and that is the one that I was raving about on my Instagram stories, I think a couple of weeks ago. So I will see you guys then. Bye.